as the former Foreign Secretary David Owen. Lord Owen, very good morning to you. Thanks morning. for joining us. Do you think it's inevitable that in the coming days even or weeks that Iran will retaliate in a, in a big way? Not inevitable, but very high risk. I think the government have handled it well. We uh, have relations with uh, Iran. We have an embassy there and we have been utilising that. But before we, the Prime Minister spoke to the Iranians, he had a channel with all the four or five other countries. So we're using our strength of not acting by ourselves, but utilising our own capacity because of having an embassy and having relations. And as far as possible, we should go on keeping our relations with Iran. If Iran retaliates in a significant way, what is the risk from there of a full-scale war? Is that the moment that everything changes? Well, I personally think that Israel would be extremely wise to hesitate and not go. Normal Israeli response is immediate. On this particular occasion, with what's happening in Gaza, and I think the fact that some Israeli policies have caused more than raising of eyebrows amongst their real friends and allies, they should be very careful about responding. Is it fair to say, if we look back at the instance of the last uh, year and a bit, that when Iran last responded in a big way, it gave Israel a moment to, to regain a bit of the PR internationally in that? Is that what you're getting at with this or, or something else? Well, what's dangerous about this is that both sides have indicated to the other that their nuclear uh, weapons are this time not off the agenda, that they, they have taken action which indicates that the next attack could be on each other's mm -hmm. nuclear weapons. That is very dangerous. It's, therefore, this crisis is, I think, in a funny way, more dangerous than some of the obvious fights that we've had before between Iran and Israel. In terms of some kind of peace agreement, uh, whether it's temporary ceasefire with specifics uh, around Gaza uh, or broader around the region, you, you've been in, involved in these talks uh, across the Middle East. They're insanely complicated. Do you look at it and how and think we're further away from any type of agreement than, than at any point in the last couple of decades or not? I think Gaza has changed everything. I think there was a great deal of goodwill for Israel throughout the world and in many Arab countries, and Muslim countries. Israel has lost a lot of that, not often publicly expressed, but privately well-regarded respect. And they've got to be very careful now. They, they have made some errors in their policy and they need to watch very carefully and the normal Israeli response, immediate retaliation, and needs to be just put, not on the shelf, mm -hmm. but put in, in reserve. Um, Interesting. It's very difficult, and I don't believe in telling other countries how to run their affairs, or particularly at times of war. But so far, I think the diplomacy of the Western powers, the United States, Biden is still president, consulting, and in this particular case, using the new prime minister in Britain rather cleverly.